Hello and welcome. When homeopathy was discovered more than 200 years ago, our master had a name, a purpose, which was to serve humanity. But today, either to compete with the so-called modern system of medicine or to earn our bread and butter, we have far left behind the very aim and purpose for which homeopathy was once discovered. Many of us have buried the theories, principles and laws on the basis of which our system was once built. This is a sincere attempt from our end to try and excavate those buried theories, principles and laws. Our aim is not only to make the process of learning easy and effective, but interesting too. We do not intend to mount any of our theories or imaginations upon our audience, but instead we shall try our best to explain the facts and the truth that is laid in our literature in a very simple and convincing way with the aid of real-time videos, audios, multimedia clips and images. If we wish to understand the concept of homeopathy, it is very essential for us to understand the meaning of each and every aphorism from our organon of medicine. Let's begin with the very first aphorism from our master himself. The physician's high and only mission is to restore the sick to health, to cure, as it is termed. Now, when we read this first aphorism, it seems very easy to understand. In simple words, it means the aim of a physician should be to treat the sick to restore him to a state of health. But, unfortunately, many of us have not understood the meaning of this simple statement. If you wish to understand this aphorism, first, you should try to understand as to what Hahnemann meant by the terms sick and cure. Sick. Now, the meaning for this term is entirely different for an allopath and a homeopath. For an allopath, this term refers to anybody where physical changes can be traced, either at cellular level, tissue level, or organ level. To understand this statement better, let's listen from a patient.
Did you hear it? ECG done thrice, TMT twice, echo and sonography one time each. Still got nothing to give the observed symptoms a diagnostic name? For them, since the results are all normal, they can't consider the person as being sick. But the patient himself feels something is wrong with him. For them, their treatment begins once they have made a diagnosis. Until then, they prefer to wait. Wait for the initial signs of derangement in health to become more severe. Wait for changes to occur that can be traced by physical examinations or tests. But by then, there are chances that it may be too late to reverse the changes so occurred. As a homeopath, we need to understand that it's the patient who becomes sick, not his body or any organ. If somebody is having cirrhosis of liver, we have to understand that he is sick. So, he is having a liver cirrhosis, but not the other way around. Now, in such cases, if it's only considered that his liver is sick and treated accordingly, Chances are there that the very underlying cause which has resulted in the cirrhosis may now affect some other vital organ. So a patient who may have visited a hepatologist for such a condition has his GIT affected at a later stage, will go to a gastroenterologist, then maybe to a urologist, then a cardiologist and soon roaming for years and years. So. From this first aphorism, we should clearly grasp as to what Hanman meant by the term sick. It means a state where the patient is not having the feeling of well-being. A state where he is experiencing some abnormal sensations. A state where he feels he is not healthy, either physically or mentally, with or without the presence of physical symptoms. Now, since we have understood the meaning of the term sick, on the basis of that, let's try to understand the meaning of the term health. It may be defined as a state wherein a person has the feeling of internal well-being. A state where he is not experiencing any abnormal sensations either mentally or physically.